G'day football fans and welcome to episode 3 of our Wolves career mode here on Dylan on the Ball. My name's Larrys could have got that quicker, but uh, smart, smart finish between the legs, and then it got even better. Um, as I, I definitely claimed in the first uh, episode against Leicester that it's impossible to score in corners uh, on FIFA, but here we are. Uh, perhaps uh, Hugo Larrys has seen something the rest of us haven't, and he's gone to save a different ball. But we'll take those. I'll just have a bit of a closer look here, and I'm I'm not too sure what it is that's made uh, Hugo Lloris dive up into the top corner. The only thing I can sort of think of is, um, you see here, when he's doing the header, he sort of uh, makes a, sort of pulls and sort of backs into, or, or puts his shoulder into the defender there. Maybe if he's getting his head all the way through it, it is going into that top corner, but that made it two all, and shortly thereafter... Would you believe it? Again from a corner. This time it's Roman Sace. I brought him in for Max Kilman after Max Kilman's, uh, let's say, average display against Leicester. Big looping header from near the penalty spot. Hugo Lloris, not the tallest of goalkeepers. Maybe could have got a bit better. Well, made a better attempt. Um, but as we see here, just a big, big looping header over Hugo Lloris. And that's the way it finished. We've got ourselves three big points at home against Tottenham. Not what you'd expect, but we got there. Then we're up against Birmingham, and uh, early on here, we've taken the lead. It was uh, Trin Chow, first goal for the club. Nice little assist for Raul Jimenez, who didn't play against Tottenham. And good to see Trin Chow getting his, himself on the score sheet early in his Wolves career. Wasn't all plain sailing though, as you can see here, we've all crowded one side of the box. They've had the easy job of lobbing it to the other side, and I guess you could call it a valiant effort from Jose Sarr. Doesn't quite reach it, and from a tight angle, they've made it one all. Stayed that way till just before the half, when Raul Jimenez turns his man, a nice neat through ball. Al Jimenez, who went on and grabbed himself a second. Right towards the end here, it may look a bit bizarre with him just running down half the pitch by himself, but that's because it was a bit bizarre. Um, I'm not sure what they were doing. They were just sort of passing between their two centre-backs, and then one of them forgot to pass it back and gave it to Raul Jimenez, who ran and, uh, and had an easy job of slotting it in. So as you can see, uh, two ins out of two, we've got... Uh, three points in the league now, obviously very disappointing against Leicester, uh, but we've, we've backed it up with a good performance against uh, Tottenham, and uh, then I guess doing the job we were there to do against uh, Birmingham. Now, 
we are up against it. This is our, our biggest test to date, I guess. Um, we're sort of going up in stages, you may say, although I guess some might say that Leicester are possibly a better side than Spurs this year. We're sort of going up in uh, quality, going uh, if you in the league at least, if you ignore Birmingham. So we've gone from Leicester, who, well, let's say they finished about 7th this year in the league. Tottenham, probably about 5th or 6th sort of range. And then United, possibly in that top 4, if they can sort themselves out and stop uh, criminal activity. Let's get to it. So these are the lineups for today's game. Um, very much the same team that we faced Leicester against, just with a couple of changes, uh, as Ruben Neves and uh, Max Kilman played against uh, Birmingham during the week. So we've taken them out. Um, I know, obviously, Jimenez is there, but we took him off before the end of the game, which apparently was enough to have him fit for this game, and we'll take those. Uh, next, as for United, uh, just about the same team you would expect them to play uh, in real life, just with a couple of changes. As you can see on the left wing, they've got Eduardo Salvio, who really, it seems like this is an upturn in his career, I guess, because he's, he's fallen off a bit, hasn't he? He was at Atletico Madrid. Couldn't tell you where he is, actually, so me saying he's fallen off, I could be absolutely full of shit. Uh, and then uh, at the base of midfield, you can see Wilfred and Didi. So I guess that makes it even worse that we lost 4-0 to Leicester because they were without Wilfred and Didi. Who knows? Welcome to an absolutely beautiful, atmospheric Molyneux arena. Or probably not called arena, but, you know, you get the impression. Molyneux Stadium, let's go with that, not arena. Um, as we're watching the players just walk out here, I will just remind you, down in the description below there is my social media handles if you want to listen to what I have to say on Twitter, mostly just football uh, related commentary and uh, quote tweeting people's stupid things that they say. Then on Instagram we'll uh, hopefully be building something there, getting uh, a few posts uh, in about.
is in that passing lane between him and Ronaldo. Uh, in fairness to him, Connor Cody, oh, I was going to say was doing well, but he was doing well up until...
little oats uh, growling in the background. Yeah, surely that's herbal. How did that, how'd that stay in? Oh. See, as we get into the box there again, some good moments here. Some, uh, some promising moments. Perhaps we should have made more of some of the, uh, the situations we found ourselves in. Um, but end of the day, it's another 4-0. It's two gameplay videos, two 4-0 defeats. And I am headed back to the change room with my tail between my legs. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, I don't know what it is about recording. Maybe something about hitting that record button stuffs up my thumbs and we just can't play football. Uh, next time you see us, um, I'm not too sure where we'll be. Um, it's about to be the end of the transfer window. We've only got about six million pounds left, so probably not going to do too much there. Beyond that, uh, we've got Watford away, Brentford at home, and uh, Southampton away in the league in September. But I'm thinking the next game we'll actually play on camera will be away at Aston Villa. I know they're, they're sort of uh, local rivals, so... I think that's the best bet in this run of fixtures. Having said that, hopefully this is... Uh, I have I come back to you with a few wins under our belt uh, and get ourselves up the table a little bit. And I suppose uh, in that time we'll, we'll have a couple of youth intakes. Uh, hopefully bring us some good promising youth st uh, stars. And if uh, I will, of course, take us through them. So I think that's where we will leave you. Um, so please make sure to leave a like. Um, subscribe, leave a comment on any suggestions, how I can not lose 4-0 every game that I record. Uh, follow me on the socials, I've got the Twitter, the Instagram, there's uh, Twitch that I'm, I may look at streaming at some point, but who really knows, honestly. And until next time, when we hopefully don't lose 4-0 and we go again, peace.